we're looking up the lower sound factory we think it was chevy cruise and i think it's some private investors that purchased it for this electric truck company really dark green area on the map. Chevy Cruises in here. I see quite a few Chevy Chevrolets. It's all a few Chevy Cruises already in the last mile or so. Lordstown Fire and Police. This is right in the middle of the center of town. They have a little clock here. It's a four way traffic light basically. Lordstown Village. And that is Central Park. Get to the high points where the water tower here. The city of Warren and Lordstown. I guess they're different. There's the factory right there. I think that's it. They're expanding on the back. It looks like they're doing something. That is the back half of it. You know, they're going to be building electric trucks here. You know, all kinds of construction going on here. Let me slow it down. Especially this section. You know, all kinds of construction. They're supposed to be building electric pickup trucks. I don't know how competitive they're gonna be. I tend to think that Atlas Motors has a better product. I'm guessing they're putting a lot of electric infrastructure in there. All right, here's the sign. Lordstown Motors. Yeah, see the electric bolt? Town Motors. And Lordstown paint shop truck gate. Now I don't know about this company, like I said, I don't know how competitive they're going to be able to be. very slowly or very fast I should go by here the village of Lordstown welcomes you caution overhead voltage wires I'm going to keep going around the factory take a look at it what do you think do you know factories in these what do you think of this place it's huge is it yes huge I was kind of saying big it's more than big it's huge all right we can't get any closer than this road because it's gated off everywhere. And this is like the front. Actually, this is the side. All these angles we've seen so far, we have not seen in the past. This is the first we've seen of all those back side angles. And we'll get the other side of the factory too. I mean, this must be like a mile across, right? That's what I'm thinking. Like a mile square mile or something like that of just parking area and factory. I'm, I'm sure they got a good deal on this place when they bought it. It's kind of like Tesla when they got the Fremont factory. It was a Toyota Numi factory. Joint venture with GM and Toyota. They got a really good deal on that. That's why they were building cars in California because nobody else is building cars in California. It's too expensive, too, too highly regulatory. That's why they're moving to uh, Texas. Oh wait, we might be able to drive in here. Look, this is the front side. Let's see if we're allowed in the parking lot. I don't know if there's a gate where they're checking us. Maybe we won't. But look at all the smokestacks. What are all those for, Denise? You know about factories. Exhaust. Exhaust. Heat. <laughs> when you burn something, smoke comes out. You so you're going to be burning shit? Heat anything. Steam is going to burn. Alright, 
Lordstown Motors. We allowed to go through here? Just kind of drive through, I guess. Want to. It looks like we can. Can we? No, actually. No, I see a gate. Yeah, there are gates. All right, so we'll just kind of take There's a glimpse. Solar panels. Solar panels in the front. Yeah. Oh yeah. And there's a giant banner that says Ride with Lordstown. So there's not many cars here for as large of a complex as they have, right? Wouldn't there be more cars? There, but what are they really doing? That's what I'm wondering. What can they be doing with all the space? Are they really doing something in there? Or is it just because it's Sunday that nobody's here? Like they have a solar farm on the front of this factory too. Yeah. You ever seen that? No. Nope. Right, you can see where we are on the map in terms of what we're doing. When I worked at GE, we burnt coal to make our own power. You burnt coal? <laughs> yes. This is nice. Clean coal. That's what they call it, right? It's very clean. That's what they say. I don't believe them. It's all marketing. Look at all those solar panels. They turn on autopilot. All right, we're gonna go in slow mode with the autopilot so we can check out all these. And actually, I might want to get out here and get a little picture in front of this giant sign, Ride with Lordstown. This is a huge sign. And this factory is big enough, but this sign is it's massive. This is what we saw when we were on the highway. Look at all those solar panels. I wonder how much electricity they can produce with all this. And they don't put it on the roof either. Usually they put, on these factories, they put the stuff on the roof, right? Because they have so much roof space. They took up parking lot space for this. They've got all those pipes and vents and things and they're probably hot. They might melt the solar panels. Them. Okay, I might put the blinkers on here and get a picture with the Tesla in front of the Lordstown factory. This is a huge sign. Actually, it looks like others have pulled off here, not just me. It's a little dirty. There it is. Ride with Lordstown. Do you ever have a big sign like that in your GE factory? No. Nope. Here's another aerial view of the factory. You can see where we are in relation to, this is the uh, turnpike there. And we looped all, we started, we started way back here. Actually, when we first caught a glimpse of the factory, we were over here, the water towers up on the hill, came around, and that's how long we've been driving and recording this entire thing. It's just all factory. And, or their land. I'm guessing this is their land as well. I don't really know. All right, now I'm outside the car. Denise is gonna get a little, it would get a little selfie or something with me at the Lordstown factory. Are you so excited to be here, Denise? I'm thrilled. Thrilled? Let me see that thrill. You're a factory person. I've never even been to a factory of any kind, probably. Of any kind. This is the first fat well, we went we went to the uh, Atlas factory, although they I don't think they're actually producing anything here yet either. But this was a former factory, at least, right? So got that. Alright, so here's the Tesla in front of the Lordstown factory. It's very windy here. We're reporting live from the Lordstown factory. And they're not producing any trucks here yet. There's an EV truck maker. And we hope they'll stay in business, but I have a feeling my gut, my gut, is that these guys aren't gonna do so great. That's just my opinion. But it can always surprise me. I don't. Can, I can't predict the future. Can you predict the future, Denise? No. Denise got okay. But they have a nice big sign, so if that tells you anything, and they have other signs that we saw, right? And they have all this parking lot space, some of which they turned into solar, which they didn't put on the roof and on the wine. Those are all and they already have any cars in the parking lot, so I don't know who's here, but it is a Sunday. But don't factories work 365, 24/7? That's the most efficient way. Yeah. yeah, if they're really busy. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on inside here. If somebody out there is watching this video and they can get us inside the factory, please comment below or better yet, just look on the about of the, of the YouTube channel 
and you can contact me there at that email address. Yeah, we'd like a factory tour. So yeah. Someone please send that up. Yeah. All right, so goodbye from Lordstown Motors. Goodbye. All right, here's a side view of the factory. You can see the wall right there with the, with the sign that we were just at. Another Lordstown, they have signage all over. They must have spent a lot of money on signs. That's what I'm thinking. Employee entrance. I don't know what, what is this like an elevator of some kind, Denise? What's this for? A factory? What is that? Um, maybe they used to have a coal-fired electricity coal -fired generating. That's what you think that is? But usually they don't use those anymore. Yeah. To generate their own electricity? Yeah. Because they use so much they can do it more efficiently than... Yeah, it's, it's cheaper. Okay, but they need electricity here. So are they actually going to do it from solar? Or what are they going to do? We don't even know. It looks like solar. If anybody knows, let us know. But it has, it has some solar panels. Is that enough to, for the whole factory? And, and to charge all these trucks? I don't know.